What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am going to be testing this really weird face mask that I saw the other day in Ulta. So the other day I was in Ulta and I found myself in the face masks aisle, once again my guilty pleasure, and I came across this really weird brand and it is by Skin Food. It is a marine food gel mask that I saw and it has a giant jellyfish on it with a bunch of Korean writing around it and I immediately thought to myself, oh my god, this mask is made out of a jellyfish. Like there's a jellyfish inside this. I was immediately intrigued and I wanted to look into it. So I decided to flip the back over and I read that it said Skin Food Marine Food Gel Mask and in parentheses it says jellyfish. So I was like, okay, like what is this? And then it said a refreshing and moisturizing gel mask infused with jellyfish extracts and blue marine complex for intense hydration. And I saw that on the back there was a bunch of Korean writing and there's some further instructions on the bottom and it said skin food marine food gel mask and it just basically tells you all the ingredients that are in this so no it's not a huge dead jellyfish in here it is a mask that is infused with jellyfish weird so I decided to purchase it and put this mask to the test um, so I'm going to be applying it on camera for you guys so you guys can see if this is a good mask to purchase if it's weird what's the deal with this mask so I'm gonna answer all your questions in this video also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I currently have a giveaway going on here for my 1,000 subscriber celebration. So make sure that you watch my previous video on how to enter. Make sure that you're following me on Twitter. All the details are in the previous video. I'm going to link it down below so you guys can watch it. And yeah, don't forget to enter and be a part of the fam. So without further ado, let's get right into the test. So prior to applying this mask, I took all my makeup off and I threw my hair up into a ponytail so no gook is up in our hair and anything like that. So now we're just going to open this thing and I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. So to use this mask, after cleansing and toning, remove film and place mask on the face, okay? Leave on for about 10 to 20 minutes and massage any remaining essence for absorption. Used to soothe and calm a sun-stressed complexion. Alright, this is really weird. So we're gonna crack this baby open. Okay. It has a nice smell. I'll tell you that much. It has a very nice smell. It's very floral. I don't know why this is kind of grossing me out a little bit. Maybe because I know that there's jellyfish in this. Ugh. Okay. This is weird. Okay. Alright, I found the gel mask. We hit the jackpot. So this is what it looks like. It's like a, it's very gel-like and I have to figure out a proper way of putting this on my face. So I see that there's two eye slits. There's two eye slits. Okay, so I guess that's where the eyes are gonna go. I am so sorry, this is such a fail video. I just put it on my face like this, I think. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is weird. I never did a mask like this before. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so I'm just gonna, Put that on my face. It feels like a giant jellyfish on my face right now. This is so strange. Okay. So this is on. We are in business right now. Oh my god, this is so strange. Oh my god. Alright. Now I wonder if there's a bottom portion. All I'm seeing is top portions. Oh yes, I found a mouthpiece. Okay. So there's two masks in this. This is why I'm getting so confused. What is happening? Okay, uh, I found a mouthpiece. We are in business. Okay. So this goes like this. Oh, this isn't so bad. Okay, so it's a face mask, obviously. It's a gel face mask, but it's like a sheet mask too. So it says that to leave this on for about 10 to 20 minutes, and then after we take this all off, we're going to just rub the excess into our face, and it should just really soothe and calm everything. So, I'm gonna check back with you guys in a few minutes. Oh my god, it's getting into my mouth. Okay, so right now I am laying on my couch waiting for this mask to finish doing its thing. And I set a timer for about 15 minutes. That's about a decent time for us to see some results. And um, 
from what I can understand so far that this is the type of mask where you have to lean your head back because if you do anything else the mask is just going to fall off and that's not good that's not what we want so I would suggest like relaxing with this mask also um I don't know if just the mask is just too big for my face but it keeps going into my mouth and it's very frustrating so I don't like that right now but I'm hoping and I'm expecting good things out of this mask because this is a Korean beauty product and Korean beauty products are supposed to be very very good for the skin very hydrating so being that this is a gel consistency I'm expecting this to be very hydrating so it's been 15 minutes and time for us to take this mask off finally so let's start with the bottom And now the top. And now the directions are to rub any of the excess into our skin. Alright, so let's review this. Um, Okay, so in all honesty, when I put the mask on, I did find that opening it was very strange. It was like all wrapped up in this cardboard. I thought there were many masks in there, but in actuality, there was only one. So I was a little confused because it came in two pieces. So that was one thing that I found was strange. And okay, so when I put the mask on, as you guys saw, it was very wet. So I was expecting when putting the mask on, being that it was very wet, that it would leave my skin feeling very energized, very hydrated, that I would have a lot of product to rub back into my skin, and in essence leave me with this really pretty dewy glowy look. Honestly, I don't feel like it did any of that. Like, I feel like it didn't leave me with a dewy look. It didn't really make a difference in my skin. My skin kind of feels a little bit tacky. It doesn't feel soft. It doesn't feel hydrated. I don't know. I was just very, I'm very disappointed because I heard a lot of great things about Korean beauty products. And this didn't... This really didn't do much of anything, so I just felt like it was very weird to put on. It was a very weird application, and it left my fingers feeling very tacky, and it didn't do much for my face. Overall, I give this product a thumbs down. I don't think it's worth the purchase. It was $5 at Ulta. I mean, it's whatever. I mean, like, it, it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap either, because I've seen masks that have done amazing things to skin and they were cheaper than five dollars so I don't feel like it's worth the buy and I'm glad we tested it so now we know and yeah so if you guys enjoy seeing videos of me testing face masks I've done one before it did very well on my channel so I figured I would do a different kind of face mask review so if you want to see more of this and you want this to become a series leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up so then I will know that's it for this video guys. I hope I helped you in regards to whether you were thinking about purchasing this product, if you've heard of this product. If you do have additional questions and would like to leave them in the comment section down below, I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to enter the giveaway. Like I said, I'm leaving the link to the video with all the information down below and I will see you all in my next video.